shocking, Dana. It has been a horrific crash. Now, we know that several people were injured and transported from, from the scene to local hospitals. We don't know the number of injured or we know it's not any fatalities, but we know that we did have some injured and transported from the scene. Like you said, the crash occurred about 3 o'clock this morning. We had some precipitation that fell and then froze on the roadways. And as you can see from the video, that's an overpass there. And those traditionally do freeze and stay frozen uh, quicker and longer than most other roadways. Uh, we did have 21 cars involving three semis. And, in fact, we've got units still there at the scene trying to upright that one semi. So the road has been shut down since 3 and probably will still be shut down for another hour or so. Oh, very, very frightening. Uh, you know, there's nothing worse than, than sliding on ice in a car. There's absolutely nothing you can do, especially when you're, when you're in a, a big truck. Uh, do you know, we, we know that there were 21 vehicles involved. Do you know how many people have been taken to the hospital? I don't know those numbers. I think it's somewhere close to 10 people involved. We did have 10 separate collisions with 21 vehicles involved. And like mm -hmm. I said, we don't have any updates on the the casualties are how many or, or, or how the extent of them, uh, but those, that information is still kind of trickling in. And the fact that it was on an overpass, it adds even more danger and, and fear to a pretty dicey situation, but it was contained to the roadway? That is correct, and no one went over. Uh, that is a pretty uh, long drop there above the Oklahoma River. Uh, we were very grateful that we didn't have any fatalities out there this morning. Definitely scary. And I'm sure that's not the way people wanted to start their Christmas morning. Uh, we, we do, like I said, have uh, units still on the scene, and the ODOT's been out there to sand that bridge. So we're hoping to get that roadway clear. Right now we're just asking folks to increase the traveling distance between them and the car in front of them and also to slow way down this morning. Well, that's good advice on any day, especially when there are roads that icy. Thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate it, and uh, keep us posted. On